Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. We're going to read a book called The Perfect Ribbit. But before I start the story, let me introduce you to the life cycle of a frog. Mama frog lays thousands of eggs called frog spawn. They then hatch out into tadpoles. The tadpoles grow into a froglet and finally they become a full grown frog. On a sunny day in spring, Mama Frog admired the eggs she had laid in the pond. That is the most beautiful clump of frog spawn I've ever seen, smiled Papa Frog. Mama and Papa couldn't wait for the little black dots to turn into tadpoles so they could welcome them to the pond. After three weeks, the first tadpole wriggled out of his jelly, excited to explore. Mama says I'm a tadpole, he told the fish proudly. Not a tapple, a tadpole, said Mama Frog with a smile, but tapple is a great name for you. Tapple was full of questions and learned lots of things about pond life. He learned that the fish were fast swimmers and that some of the ducks had ticklish feet. Most importantly, he learned that when he grew up, he would become a frog just like Mama and Papa. I want to be a really good frog, he thought. Maybe I should start practicing now. Tapple swam to the surface of the pond to watch some of the other frogs. They looked very different from Tapple and they made the most amazing noises. Bet, ribbit, said the frogs. They were so loud that Tapple could hear them from under the water. I want to be just like them, thought Tapple, but I'll need a perfect frog noise. So Tapple swam to the clearest patch of water and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Ribbit, he said. Tapper was disappointed. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're a tiny tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some back legs. I'm changing, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So, Tapple clung to the tallest pondweed and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Ribbit! He said. Tapple was sad. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Papa Frog. You're a growing tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later... Tapple had grown some front legs. I've changed some more, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So Tapple stood on the biggest rock and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Rabat, he said. Tapple was worried. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay said Mama Frog. You're nearly a froglet. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple's tail began to shrink and he felt able to explore above the water. I'm a froglet, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So Tapple stood on the prettiest lily pad and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Do you think he's going to do it? And... Oak! That wasn't a perfect ribbit. But it was a perfect croak. Now, kids, let's have a look at some froggy facts. Female frogs can lay thousands of eggs at a time. A group of frogs is called an army. Frogs can drink water through their skin. Frogs can breathe through their skin and also by using their lungs. Frogs are amphibians. This means they can live on land and in water. Common frogs hibernate in winter. Thanks for listening and learning. Please ask a grown-up to click on the big red subscribe button so that you don't miss another adventure again. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app. Kids, always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now.
Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.